Okay, here I am again with my selfie bar. Got my hat on, which keeps the sun off my head. Uh, we've had three days in Myanmar. I want to say it's one of the nicest holidays I've had. Uh, one of the few things that's not nice here in Yangon is the traffic. Uh, it's been very interesting because if you look at that billboard off in the distance, of course I can't read a word. So it's one of the few times I've been in a country where I'm essentially illiterate. But the people here, I'm going to speak a little louder with all the traffic noise, the people are so friendly. It's such a nice feeling. We were in Yangon for two days, then we went to uh, Inle Lake, which is spectacular. It was an amazing experience to travel on the lake. The people here are not rich, but you know, you'll see a, a, a lady washing her clothes in a stream, and if you, all you have to say is Mingalaba, and everybody smiles back at you. We went to Bagan. Oh, before that, we uh, in um, uh, Inle Lake, or we actually stayed in a town called Nyongshui, which is a very interesting little town. They have a winery up on the hillside, 10 kilometers out of town. Out of town, delicious wine. We had some Shiraz, Red Mountain Shiraz overlooking the vineyard and we could see the lake in the lake it was just spectacular and the friendliness of the people and the quality of the service was spectacular i recommend myanmar began is an amazing archaeological site with thousands of pagodas and stupas uh, right by the river a lovely sunset and one day when i have time i'm going to take all the videos that i made and edit them and put together a video of my uh, a visit here in Myanmar, but I hardly recommend anyone that's looking for an interesting destination, friendly people, interesting things to see, good food, not expensive, make sure that you go to Myanmar. One of the nicest holidays that I've had in a long time. And now I'll click this button here. 